this is going to be a quick one, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on our juice box. Sadly, the juice box it threw a uh, threw a fault code, the five beeps. I did some online research, and apparently that's a a fairly common error for this for this uh, generation of juice box. On a whim, look, let me give you some history of on on this juice box. I found it on Facebook Marketplace, and this guy was selling it. He had bought a house, and the house he bought had this installed, but he had no use for it. He needed the the 1450 outlet for his weld or compressor or something so he put it up for sale I bought it I drove out to meet him got it uh, got it home installed it well installed the 1450 and uh, mounted the juice box everything was great uh, we got two uh, really good fast charges out of it and it was sitting here uh, with the the power light on and the network light blink because we don't we don't use the Wi-Fi it's too far from the house. I would have to put an external Wi-Fi antenna, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, one day I was working this past Wednesday. What was that? The twenty February twenty fourth. I was working uh, on the other side of the stables on some chainsaws, and my wife came home in the e golf, and she came around to plug up. As soon as she plugged it in, five beeps with the corresponding uh, blinking lights. So I, she let me know. I turned off the breaker, left it off for 15 minutes, turned it back on, same thing. I checked all my connections, checked all my grounds, everything was good, checked voltage, everything. Uh, everything was straight as far as the 1450. And that's when I did the research and found out that it was a common error for this uh, generation of uh, juice boxes that were manufactured when e motor works uh, was still making them so again I would be what the third owner of this thing and I wasn't sure if it was on the warranty or if the warranties even uh, transferred on a whim <laughs> I emailed uh, NLX or NLX that's the, the company the new company that manufactures the new juice boxes on a whim I contacted them let them know the issue I was having and I mean they got back to me immediately I was very very impressed and uh, and again even if they did nothing for me as far as fixing or replacing the unit I was already impressed with uh, Inlex or Inlex whatever how, however you pronounce it I was already impressed yeah we'll call him the associate I'll insert his name into the video and on uh, whether he was a tech or not I can't remember uh, this guy was so awesome he walked me through uh, like he asked me did I check this did I check that uh, responded yes I checked everything voltage is good all that good stuff and he asked for the original uh, purchase order via the original company or if I bought it on Amazon I told him I was unable to provide that info because I purchased it from a guy who bought a house that had it already installed and uh, he had no use for it as he had no uh, no EV. He had a, a really nice uh, lifted black uh, freaking Ford F-250. That thing was freaking sweet, but I digress. It was a nice truck though. Uh, and I, I told him I didn't think that the warranty uh, even transferred but I was just wanted to see how, how much it would cost to have my unit uh, repaired. Uh, I was willing to pay for it, so I was actually asking for the price. Uh, he said, his response was, unfortunately, the warranties do not transfer, but he would check to see if they would uh, replace my unit as a one-time courtesy. I was like, that would be, that would be awesome. And e even if you don't replace it, just your your customer service thus far has been excellent I would be be sure to let people know about it um, after that he responded again he said he checked and they will be able to uh, re replace my unit 
as a one time as a one time courtesy with the deposit of course but you get the deposit back and uh, honestly uh youtube i was i was blown away i did not expect that in this day and age where companies have to be sadly forced their arm has to be twisted to do the right thing enelex or analex i'm sorry for butchering your name they stepped up and offered to replace this thing and as i'm as i'm making this video my replacement is being processed i already did the deposit i already got the uh, printed out the paperwork to fill out on on this unit how was it was mounted the voltage and so forth amps and the email with the ups tracking info should be in my inbox by now but again i just want to let you guys know if you're shopping for a level 2 evsc really you might really want to consider uh Edel x juice boxes again i'm the third owner of this thing it gave up the ghosts the warranty doesn't transfer however they're still replacing my unit you cannot beat that you, you just cannot beat that and i got the padlock off so i can show you that's the uh nema 1450 right there All the lights are off because the breaker is off. But uh, again, just you might really, really want to consider the Enel X juice box just on the customer service uh, skills alone. Uh, the unit, the connector does feel plasticky, like a lot, a lot of other reviewers say. However, it it feels like thick plastic, like it's not just gonna break if you uh, if you drop it. I almost feel like you could drive over this thing. The cable, a lot of people complain about the cable being thick and heavy, but think about it. Would you rather have a thick, heavy, robust cable, or would you rather have a thin, flimsy cable that might break or tear or something? This this thing feels like it was built to last, as far as the the, the enclosure, the cables, connectors, and everything. It it feels like it was built to last. As soon as the new one gets here, I will do an unboxing. I will point out any obvious exterior differences that I, I might pick up on. Uh, but again, just in closing, Enel X juice box. I'm the third owner of this thing. The warranty did not transfer, yet they are sending me a brand new unit to replace my unit that uh, gave, gave me a fault code. Thank you for watching.